Tableau Software Tableau is a software company headquartered in Seattle, Washington, United States that produces interactive data visualization products focused on business intelligence. It initially began in order to commercialize research which had been conducted at Stanford University's Department of Computer Science between 1999 and 2002. It was founded in Mountain View, California in January, 2003 by Christian Chabot, Pat Hanrahan and Chris Stolte, who specialized in visualization techniques for exploring and analyzing relational databases and data cubes. Tableau products query relational databases, OLAP cubes, cloud databases, and spreadsheets and then generates a number of graph types. The products can also extract data and store and retrieve from its in-memory data engine. Tableau has a mapping functionality, and is able to plot latitude and longitude coordinates and connect to spatial files like ESRI shapefiles, KML, and Geosun to display custom geography. The built-in geocoding allows for administrative places country, state, province, county, district, postal codes, U.S. congressional districts, U.S. CBSA, MSA, area codes, airports, and European Union statistical areas nuts codes to be mapped automatically. You can group geographies to create custom territories or use custom geocoding to extend existing geographic roles in the product. There are five ways to access their products, desktop, both professional and personal editions, server, online which scales to support thousands of users, reader, and public, with the last two free to use. Visible, a consumer data visualization mobile app, was released in 2015. A sixth product known as Data Prep, for data preparation workflows, was released in May 2018. In June 2018, Tableau acquired Empirical Systems, a Cambridge, Massachusetts based artificial intelligence startup, with plans to integrate the company's technology into the Tableau platform. Tableau also announced plans to establish an office in Cambridge as a result of the deal. The use of Tableau in data driven companies is to produce data reports to reflect the operation conditions in real time. Public company On May 17, 2013, Tableau launched an initial public offering on the New York Stock Exchange, raising more than $250 million. Prior to its IPO, Tableau raised over $45 million in venture capital investment from investors such as the NEA and Meritech. The company's 2013 revenue reached $232.44 million, an 82% growth over 2012's $128 million. In 2010, Tableau reported revenue of $34.2 million. That figure grew to $62.4 million in 2011 and $127.7 million in 2012. Profit during the same periods came to $2.7 million, $3.4 million, and $1.6 million, respectively. The founders moved the company to Seattle, Washington in 2004, where it remains headquartered today. In August 2016, Tableau announced the appointment of Adam Selipsky as president and CEO, effective September 16, 2016, replacing co-founder Christian Chabot as CEO. Wikileaks and policy changes 
On December 2, 2010, Tableau deleted WikiLeaks's visualizations about the United States diplomatic cables leak, stating it was due directly to political pressure from U.S. Senator Joe Lieberman. On February 21, 2011, Tableau posted an updated data policy. The accompanying blog post cited the two main changes as 1 creating a formal complaint process and 2 using freedom of speech as a guiding principle. In addition, the post announced the creation of an advisory board to help the company navigate future situations that push the boundaries of the policy. Tableau likened the new policy to the model set forth in the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, and opined that under the new policy, WikiLeaks visuals would not have been removed, as, "...the underlying data were statistics about the cables, not the cables themselves." <laughs> Awards. In 2008, Tableau was named a Cody Award winner for Best Business Intelligence Solution by the Software and Information Industry Association. The company was recognized as a leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for five consecutive years between 2012 and 2017. <laughs>